In this lecture, I will discuss about basic of overcurrent relay coordination in a particular substation. So, here the single line diagram has been shown for a 132 by 33 kb substation. In this substation, we have two number of 50 MB 132 by 33 kb transformer. So, percentage impedance of each of the transformer has been shown as 10 percent. So, in the 33 kb bus, we have considered only two number of feeder for ease of understanding. So, there exists one bus coupler breaker in the 33 kb bus, and these two feeder are connected on the each side of the bus coupler breaker. So, the CT position has been shown from the HB side to the LB side of the transformer and bus coupler CT and feeder CT. So, the CT ratio for HB side of the transformer is mentioned as 400 by 1. For LB side, it is 1000 by 1. And for bus coupler, it is 800 by 1. And for the feeder, it is 400 by 1 each. So, overcurrent relay is connected from the CT secondary side, from the feeder, from the bus coupler CT, from the LB side overcurrent, LB side CT, and from the HB side CT. So, 51 is the NC code for the overcurrent relay in non directional in nature. Here, the fault MBA is mentioned for the 132 kV bus is 1000 MPA. Okay. So, in this lecture, how the basic, how the relay coordination is done, and based on which philosophy relay coordination is done. Okay. Now consider the fault occur at feeder one, and the relay which is take which is connected from the CT secondary side of the feeder, it taking t time to send a trip signal to the circuit breaker of the feeder. Okay. So here the tripping time for the feeder overcurrent relay is considered as t. Okay. So after T time, this relay should send a trip signal to the circuit breaker of the feeder and this fault shall be isolated. Now consider that the, this relay is unable to clear this fault due to breaker problem or trip circuit problem. So this fault current will still flow from the this two side of the transformer. Okay. So after T plus 150 to 200 millisecond, that is the time margin has been provided for the bus coupler overcurrent delay to send a trip signal to the bus coupler breaker since fault occur at this section of the bus. So that after tripping of the bus coupler breaker, this fault can be segregated from this bus and this healthy feeder power shall not be interrupted. Okay. So after T plus 150 to 200 millisecond, the this relay will send a trip signal to the bus coupler breaker, and this bus coupler breaker is off. The fault is segregated now. So this fault current will still flowing from the transformer one to the fault point. Okay. Now again for the LP side over current delay, again time margin is provided. That is 150 to 200 millisecond with respect to bus coupler over current relay. So here the trip time has been considered as T2 is equal to T1 plus 150 to 200 millisecond. So that after T2 time, this relay will send a trip signal to this breaker so that fault can be cleared. Again for the HB side over current delay, again 150 to 200 millisecond time has been considered from LB side over current delay. That is the trip time for the HB side over current delay has been considered as T2 plus 152 to 200 millisecond. Here T2 is the tripping time for the LB side over current delay. So after T3 time, T3 is equal to T2 plus 150 to 200 millisecond, this relay shall send a trip signal to the HB side breaker. So this is how the relay coordination is done in a particular substation. So we can see that this bus coupler overcurrent delay act as a backup of this feeder overcurrent delay and LB side overcurrent delays act as a backup of this two overcurrent relay. Again, HB side overcurrent relay act as a backup of this three overcurrent relay. So this is the basic philosophy of relay coordination in a particular substation.